All right, this is to help you with your science project research. Gathering information. Remember, research is the second step of the scientific method. After you've already found a problem or had a question uh, and you've completed the purpose, now you're ready to start researching before you make a hypothesis. The overall goal of research is to form a research-based hypothesis, which means we want to understand more about the topic um, or problem that we have. So my problem was uh, involving insect repellents. Which insect repellent will help to keep away pests the best? So I wrote down a question that some people may have about insect repellents, and that is simply, what are they? What are insect repellents? So when I'm gathering information for my research paper, um, I want to research this question. It's a good idea to write down several questions, as you might have seen in the last video. And once you have those questions, you want to research them and record your resources. So I went to Google, and I'm going to just type in what are insect repellents? And right here it is. When I go here, it, the first one, it gives me this website. This is about buying some insect repellents, and I'm not interested in buying. I'm doing some research about them. Okay, I want to know what they are. Uh, I come to a definition. This might be something I want to use. And I'm going to look at the address down here. And I notice that it ends in .edu. That's a, that's a reliable resource. When the web address ends in .edu, that tells us it's an educational website. Um, they're not making profit. And it likely has reliable information. So that would be a good resource to use. If I look down through here, again, um, I prefer not to use Wikipedia, since Wikipedia can be changed by anyone. Um, we don't know how reliable all the information is, so I'm just going to skip over that one. The next one that I come to uh, ends in a .org. Uh, I know that Wikipedia also ends in .org, but Usually, when we see this, that tells us that it's a non-for-profit organization, and it's usually a reliable resource, again, that um, we can find some valid information from. So this might be another resource that I use. Uh, as I scroll down through some of the others, I see some .coms uh, here. Here's something that says .gov. That's a government website. Uh, which could be a good resource, but it says something here about West Nile. I'm not concerned with West Nile. I'm just concerned with the insect repellent. So I'm kind of reading through uh, the headers and also looking at the type of ending on the web address. Okay, if it ends in .edu, .gov, or .org, that would be what I'm looking for. I'm going to select this one. When I go to this website, uh, I begin kind of skimming over some of the information, and maybe I find some different bits of information that I want to use from this particular web page. Uh, and it may only be something from this particular chart that I'm looking at right now. Uh, I might have found some information that I want to discuss in my paper about maybe DEET. Um, and the cost per ounce, or the active ingredient DEET, and how that makes it more effective. Uh, and we can see it has an effectiveness rating, so it looks like someone's probably already done a similar experiment. If I use this information or this chart, I need to make sure I let people know where I got the information from. So I'm just going to copy and paste this whole website into a Word document, and I've already done that. Uh, if we go to back to my Word document, I've copied and pasted this entire article. Now right now, since I just took all their information and haven't told anybody where it came from, this would be plagiarism. So I have to let them know that I didn't know all this information on my own. I got it from this particular resource, and that's what uh, your bibliography is for. 
okay some of the important information if you can see right here I've highlighted some of the important information and you're gonna wanna look over uh, and get this material from the website okay the copyright date if there's a publisher's name or today's date the time that you get it uh, the URL address the web address some of this is important information that your bibliography is going to ask you for so when you're gathering your resources make sure you gather also this important information okay First off, look what the title of the article is, uh, the website, that's some important information. Uh, as well, if you follow my mouse up here, you could copy and paste the URL address to make sure you have that important information. And the other important information can be found near the bottom of the website. Uh, oftentimes, you'll find some kind of copyright date or a publisher's name, uh, maybe even the city that it was published in. Uh, so that's some other important information that you'll need for your bibliography. This is just one resource, and we need to have at least four for our science project. So I hope this helps you with gathering information for your research paper. Remember, one resource, I may only use one sentence out of it. But if I do use a sentence uh, that I got from here, I should put it in my own words. And then, of course, uh, try and or make sure you're citing it properly in your research paper. I hope this helps you out with understanding how to write uh, or gather sources for research.